today. Good? I'm so glad. So today is a very special day. Do you want to know why? I'm going to tell you a secret. Are you ready? Okay. This weekend is Mother's Day. Do you know that? Yeah. So we are going to do a very special project for mommy or, your, or the special lady in your life. It could be an aunt, a grandma, whoever you love and you want to do the project for, okay? Yes. All right, so we are going to make it today. But for you to make it, you have to be with someone else or you have to go in a separate room. Can you do that? Okay. So take the phone or the camera, whatever you're doing, take it into another room or ask a daddy or an uncle or a grandpa if you can do this, okay? You want to make a really special gift for her okay all right so we're gonna to get to that in a little bit first we have to do our circle time are you ready okay let's sing our good morning song ready good morning to you good morning to you good morning my tiny tykes good morning to you great job my friends you did awesome with that all right, so does anyone know what our day of the week is today? Hmm, I'll give you a special hint. Are you ready? It's fun Friday, great job. You are so smart and you know that today is Friday. So this is F, F. can we all make that silly sound? Friday. Great job. All right, so today is Friday. So let's sing our days of the week. And when you hear Friday, can you jump up and down? Are you ready? That's a silly one. Can you do it? Okay, ready? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job, my friends. Do you think you can do it one more time? But when you hear Friday, I want you to do a silly face because it's fun Friday. Are you ready? Okay. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days in a week. Great job, my friends. Does anyone know what month we're in? Do you remember? It starts with a M, mm, an M. March? No. May, right. Good job. April showers bring May flowers. Great job, my friends. It is May. So can we sing our 12 days of the, uh, 12 months of the year song? Silly Miss Daphne. Yes. All right. That's a great idea. Are you ready? When you hear May, I want you to pull on your ear. Okay. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Great job, my friends. So if it's May, do you remember what season we're in? Hmm. Let's think. The flowers are coming up. It's raining a lot, but it's sometimes really sunny and kind of warm, but still a cool breeze. What does that sound like? Spring, very good. You guys are so, so smart. Great job, my friends. So now we need to know what number we are on on our calendar. So here we are with our calendar. Let's see if you can figure out what number we're on. Do you want to count with me? All right, great job. Ready? Can you jump and count? All right, but if you count, if you jump, you have to count. Ready? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. So let me get my number eight. Here we go. Oh, look at our two colors match up. What colors is what color is that? Blue, right, great job. All right, do you think you can help me count in Spanish since we learned it last time? Do you think you can remember? But now we have to add two new numbers. Let's try it, ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Ready for the next two? Okay, siete, ocho. Can you say ocho? That sounds so silly, but it's so fun to say. Ocho, great job. So we are learning how to count in Spanish. Since we've been doing our numbers in Spanish, I thought it would be really fun to do some of our colors in Spanish too. Do you think you can do that with me? Okay, awesome. Here we are. So I have little shoes here from, you know that book, um, Pete the Cat, I Love My School Shoes? Yeah, you do? We should read that one time, right? I love Pete the Cat. Actually, Pete the Cat is right here. Say hello to Pete the Cat. Hello. Great job. All right, he's gonna sit over here and watch us do the colors of his shoes. All right, so what color is this? Red. And we have to say that in Spanish, we say rojo. Can you say that? Rojo. Great job. Oh, what color is this? Blanco for white. Can you say blanco? Blanco. Great job. And what's this? Orange. This is a hard one. Ready? Anaranjado. Can we say that together? Ana Ronjado. Great. Ooh, what's this? My favorite color. Purple, right? Morado. Morado. Brown. Cafe. Cafe. Yellow, like the sun. Amarillo. Can you say that fun word with me? Amarillo. Very good. And our last one. Green. Verde. Great job. I think I was missing blue, wasn't I? I don't know where my blue card went. So we're going to learn it together. Blue, like the color of Pete, you would say azul. Azul. Very good, my friends. You are catching on to the Spanish quick and you are learning so many new words. I'm so very proud of you. All right, so remember I told you that special ho holiday that this is that's this weekend? What is it called again? Mother's Day, right. So Mother's Day is a special day that we celebrate our mommies or our special ladies in our lives. Can you do that on Sunday? Right, so maybe you'll get your special, the special lady in your life flowers or chocolates or make her the craft that we're gonna do today just to show her how much you love her. All right, so we're gonna read this silly book. It's called How to Raise a Mom. So super silly. Are you ready? Let's see how you raise a mom. Raising a happy, healthy mom is fun and important. Are you ready for some tips? Yeah, you are. All right, here we go. Help your mom begin the day. How to start her morning. Let her sleep in. Kiss, kiss, kiss her awake. Open the curtains and say, rise and shine. Your breakfast is ready. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. They are being so super nice. When it's time to get dressed, give her choices. How to dress a mom. Not too serious. Not too silly. Not too sparkly. 
perfect. A mom can forget things when she's in a rush, so pile it all at the door. Snacks, toys, purse, keys, phone, shopping list, library books to return, letters to mail. Check, check, check. Does, do you do this for mommy or does mommy do this for you? Yeah, she does this for you, right? That's why this book is so silly. Errands are fun until you end up in a long line. If your mom starts to get cranky, surprise her with a snack and a toy. If that doesn't work out, act like a funny, act out a funny story. If that still doesn't work, say, thank you so much, sweet pea, for being so patient. When you are finally done, you might run into a friend. Right away, plan a play date for your mom. Whisper, remember to share. Does mommy say that to you? Yeah. Back at home, if your mom has work to do, tell her, it's quiet time, shh. Then start your own project. On regular days, moms tidy up without being asked. Today, it's your turn. Are you gonna be, are you gonna help mom on Sunday and help her clean up the house? Maybe you can do it as a surprise for her. That sounds like so much fun and you would make her so happy. A happy, healthy, strong mom needs exercise. How to exercise with mom. Take turns scoring goals. Race against the wind. Hop like a kangaroo. Can you hop like a kangaroo? Let me see. Oh my goodness, you're so silly. Swing like a monkey. Can you swing like a monkey? Wow. Slither like a snake. Oh, get on the ground. Slither like a snake. Can you do that? <gasps> oh, spooky snake. When your mom is tired, show her the best ways to relax. How to relax. Do a yoga pose. Look for wiggly worms, slimy snails, and roly-poly bugs. Sing her a lullaby. rock by mommy, sleeping under the tree. Oh my goodness. Do you ever sing a lullaby to your mommy before she goes to bed? No? Maybe you should try it on Sunday. Surprise her with a song. But what if the rain keeps you stuck inside? How to play with a mom inside? Plan an indoor beach day. Set up a zoo all across the floor. Oh, there's even sharks. Soon it's time for dinner, and that means vegetables. If your mom's picky, try these tricks. Broccoli, pretend she's a dinosaur eating the trees. Roar! Carrots, make them into a heart. Ask, which will you eat first, your peas or your beans? Does mommy usually ask you that? Yeah. When it gets dark, your mom may want to skip right to the bedtime stories, but tell her, not yet. First, you have to put away your toys, scrub your face, put on your pajamas, brush your teeth, and then you can hop into bed. Now, it's time for stories. If she asks, one more please, say, okay, but remind her to get up to sleep on time. Does mommy usually tuck you into bed? Yeah, or daddy? That's their job, right? Not your job. This book is so silly. Then snuggle up and ask, what, does the, what was the best thing about your day? She'll snuggle back and say, you, because mom loves you. And that's how you raise a happy, healthy mom. I loved that book. It was super silly, but I just love it so much. All right, my friends. So can you grab your mom packet so we can start our projects for mom? Okay, you go do that and I'll be right back, okay? All right, my tiny tets. I am back with my mom packet. Do you have this with you? Okay, 
All right, so take this out and we are going to get started on our mom projects. I'm gonna show you what I did, okay? So the first paper is a little jar and it says, mom, you light up my life. Happy Mother's Day 2020. Love always, your love bug. And then you're gonna sign your name, just like I did. So I took my finger and put it in some different color paints and I made a love bug and I put some hearts around there and then I signed my name on the bottom. But guess what the fun part of this is? You can do whatever you like. You can make your bugs, you can draw hearts, you can paint your hearts, whatever you like, okay? Mom's gonna love it either way, whatever you do. And then on the bottom, I want you to try to spell your name and write it. Can you do that? Okay. I think mom, my mom's going to love this. And then on this paper, it's called All About Mom. Someone is going to help you read it. And then you're going to answer the questions and they're going to write it down. Or if you're a little bit older, you can write it with your own handwriting and your own pen. Okay? Or marker. I did mine with a cool pink marker because my mommy loves pink and purple. All right, so the first question is, my mom's name is, so right on this line, you're gonna write your mom's name. My mom's name is Jana. Can you say that? Jana. She is blank years old. My mommy's 53. She loves to, then you're gonna put in that line what mommy loves to do. My mommy loves to play with her grandson. He's a baby and she loves him. She loves to eat. You're gonna put what mommy loves to eat. My mommy likes to eat a bunch of different kinds of fish, just like me, I love fish. Her favorite color is purple. What's your mommy's favorite color? Great, so you're gonna write that in that line. She loves when I, what does mommy like when you do? What does she like for you to do? My mom likes when I call her on the phone. I love it when mom, what do you like when mommy does? I like when my mom smiles, yeah. I love, oh, I said that. Mom smiles when, and I put when she's with her family because she loves us and she's always so happy when we're around. I love my mom because there's a few lines here and you're gonna put why you love your mommy. I put because see, she's so strong and the best mom ever. And then I put, I love you. And then on the bottom it says, happy mother's day. And it's pretty with the flowers, but even if you wanna draw on it, that's okay too. It's whatever you wanna do because it's your gift to your mommy. And then I'm gonna put this through the laminator and I'm gonna give it to her on Sunday for mother's day. Great idea, right? Yeah, I know your special lady in your life is going to love this. And I hope that you guys do it. And if you do, can you send me some pictures down below and show me how your moms liked it? Yeah, I'd love to see. All right, guys, so I am going to go for now. I'm going to go